Hey everybody, Stragus here. Uh, small addendum to the video I'm putting together for the Dual Universe Orbital HUD. Uh, there is one more item you need to add and you need to do this before you go through the script. Basically what you want to do is uh, put together a telemeter. Uh, you can put it together with uh, your extra small assembly line. You can also do it with your nano pack. Really doesn't take that many resources and it's pretty quick to put together. Once you've done that, uh, let me show let me switch over here once you've done that uh you want to uh attach to your ship like i have and this is what it looks like got some cool colors too like that all lit lighting up sorry shiny thing um so once you've done that you'll want to place it on your ship uh and then link it to your chair uh basically what you do is you'll you know you'll go into build mode you'll hit uh usually it's six for link and you'll just click and drag it to your chair, and that's it. Once you've done that, you're pretty much uh, good to go for the uh, rest of the, instru the instructions. And uh, yeah, sorry about that. Forgot to add that on there. Uh, basically, these to be added on because uh, they're using uh, uh, the DU Orbital HUD is using uh, another script that's uh, that's uh, being that's uh, doing the you know the yaw, the tilt, and the turning and stuff like that, and also the telemeter also like uh, gives a positional data for where you're at and stuff like that so that's basically it's also using that for travel so major useful thing need it all right hope you enjoy the rest of the video stay tuned coming up next here is uh where i was going through uh, getting everything together i cut it down to a lot short to a lot shorter video you don't have to watch the full six hour video to be able to get to it so uh this is probably about 20 30 20 25 minutes and it'll basically visually walk you through downloading installing and getting the script up and running hope you're having a great week hope you're having a great weekend let me switch back over to here so you can actually see me Hey, so hope you're having a great week, great weekend. Uh, I'll see you all again. Uh, fly safe, stay safe. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Another time. Uh, let's go over how to uh, get the script, the script installed. Okay. So let me uh, get to the script page. Okay. So let me pull this over here. So basically, this is uh, Dementia DU, uh, Dual Universe Orbital HUD. This thing has pretty much everything you need as a for, for piloting the system. It has uh, autopilot. It has auto landing. It has takeoff. It helps you take off. It has all the instruments you need. It has the the HUD and everything. Uh, it's just it's just really great. Um, so it also has like altitude hold, so you can like hit like a certain altitude if you want, and you can just it'll it'll keep you at that altitude altitude, keep you flying as long as you have fuel. And then uh, it auto it has like auto braking. It has a follow mode as long as you got like a remote control, it'll follow with that. This is re it's got all the bells and whistles, pretty much all the bells and whistles you need uh, to make your life easier piloting in dual universe. So we're going to go over how to uh, download, install it, and get it running. Okay, uh, uh, as a you know, in the description for the for the YouTube video, um, it'll be much shorter. It'll be a little short uh, how-to video is what I'll be coming up. And so basically, you want to go to it's a GitHub. You can like look for du dash orbital dash HUD. Uh, Dementia, D-I-M-E-N-C-I-A, uh, either one of those two in GitHub, and this should take you to this page. What you want to do first is download the HUD.conf, and there's also instructions on how to do this, uh, but I'm going to show you visually, you know, like actually show you what I what I did to be able to get this running. So you'll actually have some visual reference on how to do this. What you do is you'll go into here, you'll click on this link, and you'll come to this page, and you'll see this raw button here. You want to right click on it. And then you'll click on save link as you'll click save link as and it'll bring up your download window and the place you want to going to download it to is the dual universe your dual universe directory where it's installed and whatnot and that should be h mine is in games dual universe you'll go into game uh bin no not bin my fault data uh lua and auto comp and then custom so that's dual universe game data lua auto comp and custom 
So you'll be in here and you'll click on save. It'll download it like it's already done here and it'll download it to, uh, to the directory. So they've actually made this incredibly easy and simple to install. So what you're going to want to do next is go to uh, your chair, which I'm about to do here. You get out of edit mode. You'll go to your flight chair or your whichever control uh, pod you're, or if you're using like a control pod or something like that. And you'll right click on it, advanced, and you'll click on uh, update uh, custom on auto comp list. What that does is that looks in that folder you just downloaded the file to and that basically uh, updates, you know, that adds it to your to a list of your auto comp. If you have other ones or anything like that. Um, this will uh, basically make it available for you to do this next step. So you'll click on update cost, uh, custom auto comp list. And then after that, you'll click on run custom auto configure. And you should see buttons HUD, Dibencia and uh, Arcagio. I believe that's how you pronounce it, version 3.75. You click on that and that's it. You're, you're figured. As long as you don't get like some kind of weird Lua error or anything like that, nothing your, your screen doesn't melt or anything like that, you're golden. You're, so this is, like I said, this is really easy to install. It's And it's really, really, uh, it's great. It's made my life so much easier as far as like trying to get around and trying to pilot and stuff like that. So as you can see, I have a, here we go. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? Look at this, no database found. That's just something uh, in the script. It basically keeps a record of like, I think your travels and whatnot. So you may see that. Um, so right now my brake is engaged, gear is extended, hover flight 0.0, .0 meters. Look at this beautiful, wonderful HUD. This is incredible. I love this. Well done. I mean, uh, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's just, uh, it's even affecting. It's like, oh, gosh, this. All right. So I'm going to quit drooling over this real quick. I'm going to get going. I bring my chat back. All right, let's take off control to remove the brake. Lift off. I'm gonna climb up. So shift and as you can see it brings up the little the the, the yeah, thing yeah, that really wonderful. Lime pro. So you do so basically to like use any of these. Uh, you'll hold your shift key down, mouse over it, make sure that it's highlighted, then you'll release the shift key and it'll select. That's basically what they were talking about. So we need to reach uh, above 35,000 feet, which we're about to do here in just a couple seconds, and then that pops up. And then pretty soon, uh, let me switch views. My engines, my rocket engines here should be in. There you go. They're, they're warming up. It takes a little while for them to warm up. So there they go. They're just they're just picking up now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, basically get over, you know, you got the, the, you know, you got your planet. So I'm kind of, God, I wish I had something. Okay. It's not exactly the, how this should work or how this would look, but this is like the round planet. Basically the other planet is like right over here. I'm here. I have to make my way around to be able to get a straight line uh, to point towards the, the planet I need to get.
So I need to figure out. Let that go, because basically it thinks it's right now I'm supposed to be heading to the planet below me, so that's the reason why that turn and burn breaking is going on. I gotta choose uh, Alt 1 and Alt 2, go between target, plant, autopilot, and display. So Alt 1, this Alt 1, Hades, that's the one I want. Bad boy point in the right direction. Okay, so I'm holding the shift key down and then there's R and T. I want to Hades now. Hades, that's So what it's doing is it's kind of like changing, you know, trying to like get me in the right trajectory to be able to uh, hit the planet at kind of like uh, this, you know, just going over the top. Because you don't want to ever, whenever in these uh, flight sim, the space sim games, you never want to fly directly at the planet. That's true. Cratering. Uh, which is, you know, makes good for cool uh, videos and whatnot. But if you're actually wanting to make the trip, you want to head at kind of like the edge of a planet. So basically what you could do is, what happens sometimes is you may be going too fast or something like that. So you can actually hit the planet. And if you're able to slow down enough, you can actually, you know, either continue your descent and use to go around the planet to continue to, uh, you know, to uh, break basically and to slow down and then do whatever you need to after that. Um, or you could come in at a high altitude and then veer off if you don't think you're going to make it or anything like that. It's kind of like a safe way to basically, you know, to ever approach a planet. You never want to do it, like I said, straight at it. You kind of want to hit it at the top, the bottom, or even, you know, kind of like the sides. But never fly straight at a planet when you're dealing with, uh, you know, base sims. It gets, it can get messy. So what's happening right now is um, it's basically right now trying to align the align me to the planet. Oops, I'll do that.
Ooh, don't leave. Don't click on leave. <laughs> I wonder if I can get out of my chair. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I like that. That's totally cool. So what this is going to do is this is going to, this is basically going to fly my ship for me. Um, it's going to uh, basically approach the planet, hit the brakes when it's supposed to. And then after that, it will put me in an orbit uh, around the planet. So that then I'll be able to uh, descend, land, do whatever I need to at it. Which, this, like I said, this will make things so much easier. <laughs> so what's happening right now, it's it's uh, basically speeding up to get me to, uh, uh, I think like 2200 or something like that. I may need to switch out my rockets to be able to do stuff like that. I don't know. I got the, the big ones. Um, but I was kind of really nervous about uh, putting them on here if they'd be too much weight. So... We'll, we'll, we'll try it next time. Right now, uh, we are on track. We are heading to Thades. Uh, distance 159.1 SU. Uh, travel time, one hour, 15 minutes, 38 seconds. Um, current break distance is 0.6. Break time will be one minute 20. Well, when we hit the max speed, we'll find out how soon we'll be. Uh, we're gonna have to break. Uh, Max break time, 10 minutes, projected altitude, 2.4 SU. So that's basically the altitude it's going to be putting me over, you know, pretty much uh, over the planet, I think. I don't know. Uh, but it, right there in the bottom right-hand corner, that's where I'm getting all the numbers and whatnot. So right now, um, it's just doing what it needs to do. I'm going to see. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get out of the chair. I'm getting out of the chair. Can I get out of the chair? Oh my god, I can. I can get out of the chair and do whatever. <gasps> Why am I not speeding up? Oh darn, I actually have to be in the chair while it's working. Okay. Yeah, I have to be in the chair, darn it. But that's okay. Um, That's fine. That's okay. Um, what you could do is you have to you could stay in the chair uh, for a little bit, wait till you get up to your max speed, and then after that, uh, once you get up to the the max speed for actually traveling, um, you can get out of your chair, do whatever you want, because basically you've got the the speed and momentum, uh, basically to make it the rest of the way. Your your your. Uh, That'll turn off your uh, thrusters to save fuel because you really don't need to burn your uh, all your your space fuel to get there. You just need to burn enough to get up to the max speed so you can actually travel to where you're going. 